Hey folks, real quickly before I begin, I know that this animated forecast track shows the chronomass ejection completely missing Earth to that one side. Uh, but if you look here, even with NASA's chop job on the SOHO images, they probably should have chopped a few more because you can still see some of the ejecta coming out of the right. You know the forecast track's wrong. Anyway, we had that X-Flare last night, and just a few minutes ago we had our latest flare event. We had actually a bit of a double M-Flare event. You can't really see the double M-Flare here, but it was an M-Flare, and it doesn't look like the sun is slowing down whatsoever. If anything, uh, while this big sunspot kind of contracts, becomes circular as opposed to elongated, uh, this one over to the right of it is becoming complex as well. Just to the south of that, this other solar active region is complex. These two little blue spots used to be one. They're separating, and you can see this little bit of opposite polarity that yellow and red there if it gets in between those two blue spots that'll be active as well they've updated the earth's footprint here folks now remember if we have major activity near the earth footprint that's when we get a particle flux that can cause a solar radiation storm now look how close we are to that massive sunspot the one we've had our eyes on and it just so happens that the earth footprint probably moved over there at some point during uh, some of these particle events because the flux is rising uh, the electrons, the protons on both the ACE and the GOES. And by the way, if we hit that little dotted line there, that's an official uh, solar radiation storm. So we'll definitely have to watch out for that, considering that more solar flares and chronomass ejections are expected. And not to mention the fact that we are seeing a little bit of a rise in the solar wind speed, and the solar wind density is rising up pretty fast as well. This appears to be the coronal hull stream. So folks, we have more CMEs with solar flares expected. We're getting hit with the coronal hole stream and we have to watch out for uh, more particle flux, solar radiation storms, not to mention all the uh, planetary alignments. Keep an eye on all of it folks. Be safe. 